guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Segan. If you are new here, please subscribe. Join the Segan Is Gonna family. And if you guys do subscribe, click that bell notification as well and let me know in the comment section below that you've done it. It's that simple. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I achieved this makeup look. So if you are interested in how I did this from start to finish, continue watching. Um, so we are both doing a voiceover. I haven't done a voiceover in forever, but I can't explain to you guys the construction that was happening outside my place when I was recording this video was ridiculous. Okay, so let's get started with this video. So first things first, you already know I had to put on the SPF 50 sunscreen by Neutrogena. You already know I love my Hydro Boost. And also, I've been loving eye cream as well. So the eye cream that I'm using is the Ole Hendrickson. If you guys have watched my recent videos, I've been incorporating this into my routine. I wear this throughout the day. I wear this when I go to bed as well. And it keeps my under eyes very hydrated. It actually really helps reduce the creasing that happens in my under eye as well. I just want to make mention that a little actually does go a long way. You don't have to put on a lot of eye cream. The skin underneath your eyes are so thin, you don't need a lot. So again, these eye creams are super expensive, but they're expensive because you don't need much of them. At least that's what I like to tell myself. Okay, so another thing that I've been doing is applying translucent powder to my eyebrows. And when I tell you guys, this has my eyebrows looking fuller, it makes it stay intact. My eyebrows aren't melting off of my face throughout the day. It literally has been a game changer for me. So you already know I live and breathe the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. So I use that in the 24 hour gel setter and I apply that to my brows. Next, what I used is my favorite foundation at the moment and it's the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation in the number 385 and this is literally the perfect foundation for me. I've gotten a little bit tanned, especially coming back from my trip, but this foundation does not move at all, so I really do love it. So next I take concealer and the concealer I've been loving is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the color Butterscotch. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the concealer set and in the meantime, I'm going to contour my face. So I take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Espresso and I just do a soft contour on my face because your girl just needs to look a little bit more chiseled. Just a little bit of an update, I'm actually eating a lot more better. I kinda let myself go on my trip, so I'm back on that routine. So I'm just blending that out and making sure I get my forehead in as well. So I almost forgot to highlight my forehead, nose, and my chin, so I had to do that real quick. And then I took the Milani highlight in number three, Berry Amore, and I just decided to lightly, almost use it as a blush to blush up my face. And I actually reapply it later on in this video because as I'm blending out my concealer, I kind of go over the blush and I wanted my cheeks to be nice and rosy. I'm not gonna lie guys, I am loving, when I was editing this video, I was just like, whoa, I actually really went in on my brows. And my brows lately, I've been loving each step that I've been doing 
from the translucent, from setting it with gel, it's been the best. The only thing I would do differently is concealing it and cleaning around the brow. But other than that, if you guys haven't watched my brow routine video, please go ahead and check that out. I'll leave it in the description box below. All right, so next we want to make sure we set under our eyes. So this has really been helping me with the creasing that happens because you already know I love to smile. So setting my face has really helped. So next I love to take the Prime Beauty highlight in the color Glow Girl. And when I tell you this is extremely pigmented, it's highly, highly, highly pigmented. Next, I like to take obviously the mascara of the year for me, which is the NARS Climax Mascara and just lightly apply some mascara because I'm gonna put on some lashes. Okay, so the lashes that I put on are by Kiss in number 11. I posted this on my Instagram stories and everybody has DM'd me about these lashes. I love them because they look the most natural, I feel. Next, what I'm gonna do is line my lips. So my favorite brown lip liner is by NYX Cosmetics and it's in the color brown. And I like to take their lip gloss in the color praline and apply it to the rest of my lips because I live by the Fenty Beauty glosses but sometimes you kind of need a break because I go through them really really quickly and the praline is a really nice dupe for them all right guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it's a voiceover let me know if you guys prefer voiceovers or me talking through while I do makeup today's a different situation only because there have been construction in front of my building the entire day and I didn't want to hold off in posting more content so let me know in the comment section down below if you prefer voiceovers a bit of both or you want me to talk the entire video all right guys so that wraps up today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys don't follow me on Instagram Twitter Facebook and my snapchat as well I've left them on the screen for you guys so be sure to follow me on there as well and if you guys aren't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification. That way you're updated every single time I drop a video on this channel. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you enjoy what's left of the summer and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>